We imagine magnetic flux being a series of lines running from the North Pole to the South. If we take a wire and cut through this magnetic flux, an EMF is induced between the ends of the wire. Here the wire has been passed through the magnetic field between two small ceramic magnets. The magnets are held in position on a U-shaped piece of steel. Notice that the faster the wire is moved, the greater the EMF induced. The voltage produced depends upon the rate at which the magnetic field is being cut. If we move the wire faster, use stronger magnets, or use several turns of wire in the form of a coil, then the voltage is higher. The voltage produced, that is the EMF, is equal to the rate of cutting of the magnetic flux. That is written here as d phi by dt, where phi is the amount of magnetic flux and t is the time in seconds. We can use this definition to define magnetic flux. That is a flux of 1 Weber per second is being cut if the EMF is 1 volt. Next, flux density. If we imagine a sheet of area 1 square meter perpendicular to the magnetic field, so that the lines of the magnetic flux cut through it, and then we take that sheet and turn it round and look at the flux cutting through. If the total flux cutting through is 1 Weber, then that is a flux density of 1 Weber per square meter. Weber's per square meter are also called Tesla. So, a flux density of 1 Tesla is 1 Weber per square meter. Thank you for watching.